Sakura Jumas started again to erupt and it has revealed that this volcano has now three craters. All the three craters are visible. Two of them have active lava pool uh, most of the times and they erupt. The one to the right, as you can see here, gives a little bit lighter color uh, smoke uh, or volcanic ash and steam. And the one to the left gives the darker one. So that means the different magma or the different parts of the magma erupting from these two craters. As you can see, it has uh, also lightning occasionally. Uh, and when it erupts, it can erupt like that. From close up, you can see it's a kind of a Strombolian and uh, kind of Plinian eruption, as you sometimes may see. During the daylight, when it is quiet, it's a beautiful, pleasant mountain, as you can see here. Uh, actually, people live on the other side of it. It's in the southern part of the Japan, in the Kyushu Island, the extreme south of it. It was an island itself, the Sakurajima, but now it's joined. You can see, uh, joined, uh, it's now a peninsula. And you can see the three craters. Two of them have active lava pool. And these are the triple points of the Pacific, Philippine Plate, and Eurasian Plate joining together. The joint is a very interesting part that's near Mount Fujiyama, but in the uh, southern part where the Sakurajima is located, we have the subduction of the Philippine plate under the Eurasian plate, creating these volcanoes, part of the amazing Pacific or Indo-Pacific, larger one, Indo-Pacific ring of fire, one of the biggest structures on the planet Earth, at least at the level of the crust and the upper part of the mantle.